stations on the Soyuz vehicle over Russian ground stations. Would you like to keep uh, the angle narrow? Yes, we'd like to keep the narrow angle. Copy, and that's what we have selected. You can see in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, uh, 176, 175 uh, meters away from the International Space Station, closing at a rate of eight-tenths of a meter per second. Range, zero decimal eight. All of the Soyuz systems in excellent shape. Currently, uh, the two spacecraft are flying over southern Ukraine. Do we need to do anything else with the floodlight? 150 meters, zero decimal, eight meters per second. Igor Ivanovich. Igor Ivanovich. Do you want us to activate the spotlight? No, not right now. Okay. 130 meters uh, range, range rate, zero decimal, 69. We'll just keep the floodlight as is. Right in the middle of the uh, crosshairs, you can see the docking port. Uh, that's the Poisk module facing uh, space on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The Soyuz now just 113 meters away from contact and capture. Everything proceeding very well in this automated we approach that has been flawless to this point. Visual on the um, docking interface, but um, no joy on the target just yet. Just past 100 meter mark. That's all. At the very top of your screen, you're looking at the uh, Zvezda service module of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The at the bottom of your screen, uh, the folded accordion-like accordion uh, solar arrays uh, belong to the Zarya module, the first segment launched to the International Space Station. Those arrays were deactivated and folded in uh, some years ago, no longer required because of the power production capability of the U.S. solar arrays at the International Outpost. Which color would you prefer? Green? Yeah, let's try green. Okay, I got green. Can you uh, stretch out the display with the green background? Is the uh, image good for you now? Uh, yes, it's great. 69 uh, meters range, 0 decimal 3.2 meters per second. Yeah, the image is much better now. Thank you. The Soyuz and the International Space Station flying 249 statute miles over the border between Russia and Kazakhstan. The Soyuz uh, just 60 meters away from its destination on this, the 45th birthday for Joe Acaba, who's seated in the right seat of the Soyuz vehicle. In the center seat, uh, the veteran Soyuz commander, Gennady Padalka, Sergei Revin, acting as board engineer, seated in the left seat of the descent module of the TMA-04M spacecraft. Everything continuing uh, to proceed on track, on course, a flawless approach so far as Padalka monitors systems on board the Soyuz vehicle uh, in these the final few minutes before three new residents will have arrived at the international outpost. Understood. We have SSOP. Zero decimal one five range rate. Transfer hatch closed. 
Eliminated. The target is uh, basically in the center, just a little bit to the left of the center. This is ready. On VKU, and the antenna is retracted. How copy? At a distance of 40 meters from uh, the Poisk module, the CORE's automated rendezvous antenna has uh, retracted as planned, that uh, confirmed by Gennady Padalka and uh, by the Russian flight control team here in Koryov. You can see the uh, diamond-shaped uh, docking target just to, to the uh, just uh, below the actual docking port to the Poisk module, uh, the automated rendezvous telemetry will bring the crosshairs of this uh, overlay technical display of data uh, into exact alignment with that docking target. Uh, that enables uh, both Padalka on board the station and Ale Kononenko in the Zvezda service module watching the same view that you're watching uh, to ensure that um, uh, the Soyuz remains on track with a precise alignment of its forward docking probe to the Poisk module for the final few meters before contact and capture. Romeo 1 command has been sent. Copy. Very smooth approach, zero decimal one one range rate, just like at the simulator. The uh, control target is at the center. On VSK, it's also at the center. Soyuz and the International Space Station now flying over northern Kazakhstan, several hundred kilometers uh, to the north of the launch site from which uh, Padalka, Revan, and Akaba began their journey two days ago with their launch from the Cosmodrome. A little bit of a roll. When transitioning to air base, uh, usually that's what we get. Right. So confirming target still in the center. Fifteen meters, four squares. Fifteen meters. And uh, we are monitoring crosshair alignment. Everything's nominal. Range rate is safe. There is no discrepancy on the angles or on the crosshair alignment. Very smooth. Approaching 10 meters now, everything in perfect shape, good alignment, good rate of closure, now at about one-tenth of a meter per second. The vehicle is moving very, very smoothly, very gradually. The target is basically smack in the center. The uh, target is very, very well visible. The uh, control target is also at the center, standing by for contact. And as you heard, flight controllers now standing by for contact and capture and the docking of the Soyuz TMA-04M to the International Space Station. All are nominal. It's gorgeous, just beautiful. Gina, you have to have ice running running through your veins. Contact. Docking confirmed. And capture. The International Space Station now in free drift. And uh, we're also applauding, just in case you can't hear it.
A perfect automated approach, docking occurring over the Mongolian-Kazakh border at 8.36 a.m. Moscow time, 11.36 p.m. Central time, 249 miles over the Earth. Three new residents have arrived at the International Space Station on this, the 45th birthday for flight engineer Joe Acaba. Excellent. So um, in parallel, we will be starting leak checks while the hard mate process is in progress. Once again, docking occurring at uh, 11.36 p.m. Central Time, 8.36 a.m. Moscow Time over the Mongolian-Kazakh border. Everything proceeded uh, flawlessly from the time that the Soyuz lifted off two days ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And how Gennady Padalka, the veteran uh, Soyuz commander, joined on his left in the descent module by flight engineer Sergey Revin and Joe Acaba, the NASA flight engineer, on the right. And there it is, the new Soyuz docked to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. The uh, forward docking probe will be in the process of retracting. Can you also report That basically will pull the two docking interfaces uh, closely together to enable hooks uh, to begin engaging for a hard mate between the two vehicles. Yes, we closed RPV-1 and we're recording the pressures. During the uh, supply, uh, we actually closed it and um, deactivating floodlight in work. Again, hello, this is Mr. Popovkin. Deactivating AGC mode. Again, can you hear us?